Hello, and welcome to our daily devotional, our mostly daily devotional uh, on uh, health and wellness, daily devotional on health, uh, daily fireside, devotional fireside. I don't know, one of those things. Um, on health, it is based on health. We're trying to uh, bring a relationship with our Savior into our health and wellness journey. That's really what it's about. Um, so I'm going to start with a prayer and then we will move on to today's uh, topic at hand, which is one that I actually really love. So let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we humbly come before thee and ask thee to watch over us. We're so grateful for the many blessings that we have received, and we know that thou art in the details of our lives. We pray that we may be mindful of all those little things that uh, thou art doing for us. We pray that thou wilt bless us as we learn and, and uh, communicate today with each other that we may be able to recognize the spirit thy spirit to teach us to guide us to find the truths that will allow us to draw near to thee father we're grateful for the opportunity we have to gather and we ask that thou wilt bless those who are in need or in want that they may be blessed and this we say in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> okay. So this is actually day 12. And I mean, it's the 12th day I've done this. We yeah, haven't, I never mind. Anyway, so today's um, topic is physical activity as worship. How awesome. Honoring God through physical activity. I tell you, that's one of my most favorite things to do. Um, and yet I kind of am lacking. Now, I have actually made um, a downloadable guide that teaches more about how we can use physical activity exercise as worship so you can check that down below in the uh i forgot the word where all the words are um in the description and there will be a link there for you to get that so that's that's available there but today we are actually going to um romans 12 1 and you can read this either you know, i happen to read the king james version king james version of the bible um but you can read it in the new international version you can read it in whatever version you want as long as you've got um romans 12 1 it says i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of god that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service. He wants us to um, uh, sanct the sanctity of our body, to sanctify it, to use it for his good use. And um, yeah, to present it healthy and whole to him. It's really the only physical thing we have that we can take care of that will um, prove to him that and our will that we can give to him to show him that we appreciate what he's given us. So um, physical activity, consider how physical activity can be an act of worship and gratitude for the body God has given you. Um, express gratitude in your prayers for the body, the things that you're able to do um, and use that as, uh, or ask for motivation to use physical activity as a form of worship. 
Uh, it's such a beautiful thing. I know that when I dedicate my workouts to him before the workout, uh, it's always a much more uplifting experience. So I really, I really enjoy that. Now the oil for this is one that's energizing and uh, will invigorate the senses and kind of wake you up. And that's peppermint. Um, I do have a story about peppermint. Don't put it under your eyes. If you're reaching that age where you've got a couple lines here, you for sure don't want to put it near the lines. Like if you try to use it for a headache or something, uh, putting it on your temples or on your forehead, that's fine. Just make sure you don't get too close to those smile lines because they'll draw that oil right into your eyeballs and then you'll start crying and mascara will run and it will all be a thing. But um, <clears throat> that is today's message. Um, chapter 12 of Romans, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, unacceptable, unacceptable. <laughs> Not that one. How about acceptable unto God? Sorry about that. Uh, which is your reasonable service? So I have that in the new international version brought up right here. So let's read that. It says, therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Okay. Yeah. It invites us to consider how every action, including our physical activities, can be an act of worship when done with the intention of honoring God. So we can reflect on how maintaining and engaging your body in physical activity can be a form of worship that is holy and pleasing to God. And I'll be honest with you, the thing that brought this up for me is I've always wondered about people who after they score a touchdown or hit a home run or whatever, they will, you know, in some way acknowledge God. And I could never understand why they would do that. You know, were they just showboating or what? And uh, so I did a little research and there's so much more to it, which is really where that guide comes into play. And I would love for you to have that. So I wonder if I have that pulled up right here glorifying God through exercise. We've got gratitude and intent, uh, prayer and reflection, mindful movement, engage in exercise routines with mindfulness and humility and avoiding vanity. So make sure you guard against becoming consumed by vanity or a focus solely on physical appearance, because remember that true beauty comes <clears throat> true beauty comes from within. And seek to glorify God by nurturing not just your body, but also your character and spirit. There's a lot of good stuff in there. So find that uh, link in the downloads in the descriptions to get that download. And thanks for joining me on this fireside. I hope that it has inspired you to move, uh, to move forward in movement and to use that to worship your creator. And um, I guess we'll see you again tomorrow. See you. Bye.